Okay, last two examples I want to show you is combining uh, your rules of factoring. Remember, your first rule of factoring is GCF. GCF. Get it in your head. You always look for the GCF, okay? So, in these two examples, you do have a GCF. Your GCF, in this case, is, for the example one, number one, 3x squared minus 18x plus 27, it has a GCF of 3. So let's factor that out. What are we left with? x squared, 3 divided out of negative 18x is minus 6x plus 9. Of course, you always have to look at your remaining factors and ask yourself, well, do I have any more GCF? Then I didn't pull out the greatest common factor. Do I have difference of two squares? Or maybe I have a perfect square trinomial. In this case, it is a trinomial. Let's see if it is a perfect square trinomial. Well, the first term, is that a perfect square? Yes, it is. Its square root is x. The last term, is that a perfect square? Yes, it is. Perfect square is 3. Excuse me, the square root is 3. If I multiply these together and double it, will I get a 6? Yes, I will. The sign in the middle would be minus, put your quantity brackets, squared, and make sure you bring down your greatest common factor. So, this is the factored form of 3x squared minus 18x plus 27. Let's just do one more together. Example 2. Does it have a GCF? Looking at each term, yes it does. The GCF is y squared. When I factor out y squared from each term, I'm left with y squared minus 14y plus 49. Now look at that. You have a trinomial. Is this a perfect square? Yes, it is. Its square root is y. Is 49 a perfect square? It is. Its square root is 7. If I multiply these together and double, will I get 14? Yes, I will. Your sign is a minus. Put your quantity bracket squared and drop down your GCF. This right here is the factor form of y to the fourth minus 14y to the third plus 49y squared. Try your homework tonight and have fun. I'll miss you. See you soon.